Ripping your pants doesn't always mean that your pants are ruined. If you find some patches like this, like I found on Amazon, you could easily fix your pants. What you see here is you flatten out the area, get it all ready, and then put the patch on which sticks on like a sticker and let it set for a little bit. And your pants should be just as good as new. And see, there's a patch on there, it's just as good as new. You gotta let it set for a little bit. These should get me at least a few more hiking trips. We'll see. The Mount Tecumseh Trail is 2.5 miles one way to the summit for an elevation gain of 2,200 feet. On average, it takes about 2 hours and 20 minutes to get to the top, the total trip being about 5 miles. Waterville Valley parking lot and Mount Tecumseh Trail head right over here. It's a busy day around here, but you can see there's plenty of parking, which is nice about this mountain. The trailhead is located right at the top of the ski resort. The trail is hard packed with snow granular. It's a beautiful day. To be honest, this is a race against the clock. We, we, we slept in, didn't we? <laughs> So we're trying to get up this mountain and back in time to go skiing over at the resort. We'll see how we do. I might have done this trail. It wasn't nearly as nice out, but there was no snow. It's really nice to see a nice snowy day like this, where it's not too cold. You can see the snow is starting to warm up, but it's still pretty solid. It's good to keep your eyes open when you're walking around on a hike. You can find things like this. I think a woodpecker might have made this, but it looks like you put a lot of hard work into it. I'm not completely sure what's, what caused this, but it's a cool thing to look at nonetheless. From experience, I can tell you that when the wind's going like this, no matter how hot you are climbing the mountain, when you get to the ridge line, you're going to slow down and you're going to get cold. So I'm going to put on an extra layer here just to make sure that I don't get too cold. Putting on that extra layer was really important. Once we got to the top of the ridge line, there's still a lot of trees, but the wind is really whipping. But I feel pretty warm right now, which is good. Just about there at the top. You can listen, you can hear the wind every so often coming through. Other than that, it's a beautiful day. As of recently, there's been an opening on top of Tecumseh that have given it great views of the Sandwich Mountains, which include the Tri-Pyramids and the Sleeper Mountains. You can also get a good view of Mount Washington. Well, on top of the mountain, we decided to have a beer. We had ourselves some Woodstock brews from the day before. My friend Nick Paradise is a local musician, artist, and hiker. How you doing? Nick, Moons, Grum's Daddy. My fourth winter encounter hike. Gets a little intense out here. It's 12:30, Dick. We gotta get down and go snowboarding. How do you think we're gonna do? do all right. Mount Tecumseh is the central point of the gathering of mountains around Waterville Valley. Its neighbors include the Osceolas, Mount Kangamagas, the Tri Pyramids, and Sandwich Dome. Mount Tecumseh is named after the historic Native American chief who is best known for his failed attempts at uniting the tribes of the Ohio Valley. It is still uncertain as to how the mountain was given this name. At 4,003 feet, Mount Tecumseh is the smallest of the New Hampshire 4,000 footers, 
but its location and neighbors make it a very popular stop in the area. Well, we did it. This is about an hour. It's 1.30, and we're getting back out to the car. A couple of little rock hops back to the parking lot, and we are done Mount Tecumseh.